and we roll in. There we go. Mm -hmm. I think we're good. Fancy fishing. What is up? First one in the house. Morrison Outdoors, what is up? I got more freaking trash on this table than baits. Yak Daddy, what's up, dude? That was last week's Super Chat winner. Jay Bassin, what's up? Alex, what's up? Come on down, Alabama. The lakes are fire right now. Yeah, dude, it's got to be way better than what it is here. <laughs> Going on, Josh, Bill in the house. Going on, dude. Jerry, the dads, the dad, I don't know how to say that. Yo, 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 what's up? The dad abides, is that what that is? The dad abides. Raldo, what's up? Moxon Lures, what's going on, dude? I actually got a couple of your jigs in the giveaway tonight. My Top Spinner, Doug, what's up? Angel Rays. Raldo, uh, when I turned 18, I went to go to Navy Academy. That's cool, dude. It's on my top spinner. Fishing with Dave. Good evening, buddy. Dead abides. I got it right. Okay, cool. What's going on, David? What's up, Mr. Tackle Junkie? What did I say? My, where are we at? Uh, I promote your page daily on my Long Island Bass Anglers Club Facebook page. You give a lot of great info, and I greatly appreciate it. You rock, Rob. Awesome, Rob. Appreciate it, buddy. That was called what? My Long Island Bass Anglers Club. I tell you, can you send me a friend request for that, or however you do that? I'll come follow that. Capitals 218, what's going on? Leo, what's up, dude? R. Perez, what's up? Josh Holt, appreciate the five bucks, buddy. Written in the give giveaway. We do have a good variety of stuff for you guys tonight. Joseph, what's up, dude? Appreciate you tuning in. Jesse, Chris, ready to chat. What's going on? Jesse follows in full swing. What are your temps or tips for success? Uh, don't fish in Illinois. That'd be my tip, dude. <laughs> uh, which one? Which one would you choose? Navy, Army, Coast Guard, Marine, Air Force. Uh, to, to be honest, I really have no idea. Uh, I mean, Air Force, I think, would be killer, you know. But, again, I really don't know. I really don't know, dude. I haven't given much thought which one I would do. But it would be cool to be able to, like, fly the stealth bomber and all that, you know. Fantasy, what's up, dude? You know, I looked up the Triple H, dude, and I don't see it, man. Everyone calls me Triple H, and I don't see it. I don't see the resemblance. Tim, what's up? I should just I just shop in your garage, save the trips to Bass Pro, <laughs> yeah. What's going on, John? Felipe, what's up? Hello, somebody you would go to Mexico. Someday you would go to Mexico. That'd be cool, dude. Get some big old fatties. Jay Pops, what's up, dude? Been a while. Sean, what's up, man? Jacob, in the house. Jacob, dude, where's that all-star ride review, man? That's my shirt. Can't wait to get one. And we'll talk about this, the shirts. Go ahead and tilt this down a little bit because nobody can see them, actually. We'll talk about the TJ81 gear here in a minute. Get some more people on here. We got 41 people on. Nine thumbs up, guys. We need that number bumped up. Keep the chat going. Now we're crooked here. Let's see, wow, that was like watching one of those cheap movies where the lips move and the words catch up. Oh no, you know what? Am I on Wi Fi here? I'm on Wi Fi. I'm on Wi Fi. If there's any issues, let me know. Uh, Tim, I did not put it, well, it's not really up for sale yet. Like I didn't put a post about it, but I do believe it's already sold. So I believe the tracker is sold. Yak Daddy, right. I'm in Illinois too. It's tough up here. Way better back down in Southern. Yeah. No kidding, dude. It's, it's pretty rough around here, man. What's up? It's Angel from Mohab, Utah. We don't have Shad in Kins Lake. All righty. Backyard in the house. What's up, man? Spencer, what's up? Sean, got to do the roll call, man. Everyone's tuning in. It's awesome. 22 thumbs up, guys. Keep bumping up that number. That'd be awesome. Josh, took the kid out fishing today and got the W. Haven't been out 
in like a month so not sure what the fish are doing right now probably could have put some fish in the boat if i tried harder yeah this time of year depending on where you're at man it's you know it's 50 50 dude but yeah you can't catch them man if you don't try big show appreciate the buck body renting in the giveaway what's going on tim hey jim how are you doing tonight not too bad buddy had a shorter day at work today so i went too bad got home around three or four so got to spend a couple hours with the family and i'm down here talking with you guys Hank Snow in the house. What's going on, C? Good to see you, buddy. Catching bass with every cast. What is up? Jacob says, the end of the month, I'm hoping to get that out. The All-Star Rider View. Awesome, dude. We're waiting, man. One loss, dude. What's up? 600 and some and some shy of 50K. Yeah, dude, man. It's uh, I tell you what. Fluke Master, he shared a post for me on Instagram. Um, who else? Was it? Fluke Master did. Uh, Kicking the Brass TV. Debo. So I was hoping that really would have bumped my numbers up, and it didn't bump me up as much as I thought it would, but I think I still gained some subs from it. I think I am noticing, like, are my lips matching up? Because there was some new feature on the YouTube app or whatever. So I clicked it, and then I wasn't sure what it did. So I tried to unclick it, and it wouldn't let me get out of it. So I'm not sure if the new feature is messing with my lips because it doesn't look like they're matching up to me. So let me know if that's bothering you guys or what's up with that. Thank you, Tim. What would you do if a fishing day nothing? What would you do if a fishing day nothing works for you? Like, if nothing worked for me, what would I do? Um, like, what would I toss if they're not biting? Probably shaky head. Bill, uh, as of right now, I'm thinking the Express XP7. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Did you see the video where Senior Bass complains about YouTube changes? Have you experienced issues with views lately? Felipe, yeah, dude, my views like went down the crapper, man. So yeah, what's up with that? And who is it? Senior Bass complains about YouTube changes? I'll have to see what that's about because I was thinking it was time of year, uh, sports maybe. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah, views have definitely, I bet I've lost. Normally I average around 130,000 views a month. And I'm lucky I'm getting 70,000. So, yeah, I dropped like 50, 60,000 views a month so far in the last couple months. Yeah, John, we're, we're, we're leaning towards the Express XP7. I'm going to have to look up that senior bass fishing video because, yeah, my views are definitely down. Joseph Keller, appreciate the buck body renting in the giveaway. Or we got quite a few donations in here. And again, I want you guys to see that I didn't ask for any donations, I never do. But again, you guys, I think are digging the giveaways that I do in these live streams. And again, I started doing these months back when a few of you guys donated for no reason. And again, that's why I do the giveaways to kind of give back to you, you know, if you guys decide to donate. I put the money back into the channel. But again, if a dozen guys donate, they have a shot of winning some tackle. So that's what we're doing. You just, whatever amount you donate, you're interested in the giveaway. And I got some different things for you guys tonight. We got the Z-Man Swimmers. Okay, we got two jerk baits. I'm trying to do kind of like some seasonal stuff. A couple jerk baits there. We got a blade bait. Okay, we got a couple football jigs from Moccasin Lures. Definitely check them out if you haven't already. And then we have three chatter baits from Advantage. You guys know I've been using their spinner baits all season. We got three here: green pumpkin, black and blue, and a white. And for all the big bass you're going to catch on those lures, we even got a scale. That's one of those PC Fun scales. I've been using that um, all season as well. So you're going to get a scale. So easily $100 value there. Whatever amount you donate, you're entered in the giveaway. So again, Joseph, appreciate the buck buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. What would you do? Or we were talking about that one. Yak Daddy, appreciate the buck buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. The video is freezing. Um, I'm on Wi-Fi here. Let's see here. See if anybody else says anything. Uh, Bodie Stratton, what's the what's the pound braid you use for backer on your reels? Uh, let me look. Hold on, actually. It's, um, it is forty pound braid, and the reason I went with forty because it's a ten pound diameter compared to like mono, and I use ten pound 
a little piece of 10 pound mono on the spool first and then I match it up to this so the diameter is the same. Doug, appreciate the five bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. Countdown to Black Friday sale starts now. Seems in sync. Looks good. Okay. Uh, and because I've had it for who knows how long now, and I'm going to test it out. I'll start fishing. Okay, dude. Hey, let us know how the rod is, man. Those express rides look nice. Any reason why you are looking at those? Um, to be honest, man, um, I, I heard of the boats a while ago, but I never actually looked at them. And I was talking to actually one of my sponsors, and he had mentioned those boats, and I got online and looked at them, and like instantly fell in love with them. You know, I've been looking at Triton, I've been looking at Tracker, I've been looking at um, Tracker. Oh, and and Low Stinger One Eighty Eight. But looking at those three, and it seems like I found something about each one that I really wasn't crazy about, and I really wasn't for sure if a fifty horse would even push those boats because I have to have a fifty for the lakes that I fish. But it's like as soon as I seen the express boat and the options that you can put on it, it's like I knew that was it right away. So that's definitely the one that I'm leaning towards. I think it comes stock with a 70, so you can put a 50 on it. It'll push it no problem. I believe it go up to a 90 on it. But um, you can get them rigged up with Sea Deck on there. The storage up front's perfect. I mean, um, it just it, the way it's set up, it really is. It's just perfect. So as soon as I seen it, I knew that was it. So if I get a new boat, which obviously I think I am, just because I think mine is sold. Um, that's probably going to be the boat. Let's see here. What is everyone's go-to all-purpose jig? You know, I'm not a huge jig guy, to be honest. I fish in muddy water, I don't like to disturb the bottom that much. So majority of the baits that I use are moving baits. So I'm going to say a swim jig is really like my go-to jig. It's not an all-purpose jig. You're obviously not going to like pitch and flip with it. But I mean, a jig that I use the most is going to be a swim jig. Let's see here. Bass will not bite. It's a purse fishing it is. Love ultralight fishing. Yeah, do what you got to do, man. I need dynamite to catch a fish right now. What's going on, State? How you doing, buddy? Everything seems to be matching up and going smoothly to me. Okay. I'm going to do a few videos, however, the next week or so. I'm hoping to get a few out. That's cool, dude. Enrique, what's up, buddy? That abides. Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. What are your thoughts on using soft body swim baits to cover water? I do it a lot, man. You guys know I, I love reaction type baits, whether it be a spinner bait, crank bait, chatter bait, whatever. I do the same with a swim bait. If I don't feel maybe they want the flash or whatever the case may be, um, usually like on uh, bluebird skies, calm days, things like that, I do best with the swim bait. So again, I'll put on a, a Kai Tech or, a, or an Exo Swim and just uh, usually a heavier weight that way I can reel a little bit faster and just cover water. Either like an eighth or a quarter ounce, you know, belly weight, swim bait hook. Capitals 2018, got two TCS rods, sick rods. Yep, dude, man, I'm telling you guys, the TCS rods are the deal. One loss, dude, to keep more ad money, YouTube is not counting all views. Just a theory, a large channel threw up, throughout when their views went down over 100k a month you know what dude that makes sense like i said because i went down from i went down about 60,000 views a month so it does make sense yak daddy we love your content man we would donate with a giveaway or not i do appreciate the buddy you guys are awesome man a pound backing yeah i think i just talked about that Bodie. 40 pound braid i mean you can use whatever you have but the reason I started matching the diameter and trying to keep the diameter um, even pretty similar to my main line is because years ago, I was just using 20-pound mono, okay? And then I would just use that for backer. And then if I was using 12, 15, 10, whatever for my main line, I would attach the two. But, and again, I got a video on this. A lot of guys thought it was a bunch of crap. And I'm telling you, it really does make sense. And it is. It's true. It happened just because... Uh, I used 20 pound backer and it could have been 12 pound test I was using for my main line. And I, I threw out my lure and you would just hear those bearings scream. And man, I was taking the reel apart, oil on the bearings, you name it. I was doing it trying to figure out what this bearing problem was. Then I started peeling the line off. And once I got down to my backer knot, okay, I marked it on the spool. And then once I, I kept pulling off line, then once I got down to my knot on the spool, I seen that both knots were on the same side of the spool. And you wouldn't think so, but that heavier pound test, that bigger line, 
Okay, it does weigh a tad more, let's say, than than a smaller pound test. And that extra weight on the same side of the spool as my Arbor knot, I guess I just kind of threw those bearings off and those bearings would scream. So that's kind of why years ago, I don't do it as much anymore just because it is time consuming. If you guys will see that video, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, if you can get those, those knots, one on either side of the spool, um, you won't have that bearing noise. But again, that's kind of why I try to use, you know, 40 or smaller. That way my knots are much smaller and it doesn't affect the spool bearings as much. Some guys won't care about that, but you'll, you, you can always tell, you know, especially watching like pros and all that fish, when the spool is out of balance and you'll hear that, that real high pitch zing from their bearings. And that's probably what's going on there. Figured it out, just not how to round it up to two bucks. No problem, buddy. I do appreciate it, though. Thank you, Doug. Yeah, I thought it was a pretty good giveaway, about 100 bucks worth of stuff. So if somebody donates five bucks, they got a pretty good chance of winning, you know, all this stuff. So pretty good deal. Okay, we got 75 people on, 39 thumbs up. If you guys could bump that up real fast, that would be awesome. Let's talk about the TJ81 gear, okay? You guys know, I'll make this fast. You guys know I sold it for a couple months, and I was it was actually costing me money to sell the shirts because the price that was on the website, I believe it was 25 bucks a shirt. That was based on me selling 25 shirts. And like I said before, I figured with almost 50,000 subs, I'd have no problem selling 25 shirts a month. Well, I didn't. So when I sold less, the price went up, but I didn't charge that back to you guys. It came out of my end. So I never actually made any money on the shirts. It cost me money to sell the shirts. So for as many as you guys that keep asking about them, I get, you know, emails, I get um, messages and all that from you guys wanting the shirts. So here's what I'm going to do. Today's like the third, I think. Okay, my email is in the description. Okay, and I'm not going to open the site back up just because I don't want to go through all that with that company again. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same company because I did a killer job on the shirts. But I need you guys to email me, okay, if you want a shirt. The cutoff's going to be... Let's say the cutoff's going to be November 25th, because if I put the order in by then, you guys should get them before Christmas, okay? So November 25th, and if I don't get 25 shirts, I'll email you back, let's say on the 20th, okay? So that's going to be the deal, and I have to have 25 orders. So email me, and we're going to go black, we're going to go red, blue, and we're going to go charcoal. That's the only four colors, and we're only doing the long sleeve performance shirts, that's the only one I'm going to bring out because if I do short sleeve, it's the same thing. I need 25 of those for the deal. So we're only doing long sleeve performance, those four colors. Email me if you want a shirt. I'm not asking for money right now. I'm going to see if we get up to 25. If we get up to 25, then we'll do PayPal or something like that. We'll work it out. Let's just see if we get to 25 sales first on the shirts, and then we'll go from there. Again, it's going to be 25 a shirt. I believe it was like $6.95 for shipping. So roughly 32 bucks for a performance shirt, and that's how it's going to work. So email me in the description, uh, I guess, how many you want, color, and all that and size, and we'll just see how many we get. So that's the deal on the swag. Tim says, Express boats are nice. My buddy runs one of the older models. It has held up very well over the years. That's cool. Yeah, I'm digging it, man. I want to fish with Carl Von Dibble. Unseen Outdoors, what's up, dude? Video's fine, thank you, Jay. No problem, Bodie. It's freezing on your end, too. Maybe it's this new feature. I can see, like I said, I can see my lips not matching up with what I'm saying. It could be the new feature that I clicked on that I couldn't get out of. So, so if it is freezing, I do apologize about that. What's going on with YouTube fishing channels? I hear YouTube is making it difficult or going to be shutting some down. I'm not sure about that, man. I didn't hear anything about shutting anything down. But I do know, like like we were saying earlier, it's, they definitely uh, cut the views for sure. Or, I mean, I've lost a lot of views. Like I said, about 60,000 views, I'm down. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I just figured it was time of year. But All right, C said, suggestions on what I should use my 8.1 Reel 4 and the recommendation rod in, in line. Okay, see, I like an 8.1 mainly pitching and flipping or even top water. Even top water, though, I do prefer a 7-speed just because I still like that combo for my jerk baits, and again, I don't like too fast a reel, but mainly if I'm going to use a higher gear ratio reel like an eight speed, it's going to be for pitching and flipping. You know that close contact fishing when you're only pitching and flipping 
15, 20, 30 foot away from you. That way you can pitch it in there, work it, get it back to you as fast as possible, pitch back in there. That's kind of the purpose of those reels with those techniques. So that, like I said, I probably only have, with all the reels I have, I probably only have a few eight speed just because I think a seven speed is more versatile. And um, I probably use six the most, but seven as far as bottom bouncy baits, to me, it's more versatile than eight speed. A lot of guys like the really high gear ratio reels. Again, they're just not for me just because I reel too fast the way it is. So I'm more comfortable with the seven. But again, if that's what you like to do, as far as that technique goes, I mean, uh, you know, just get yourself, uh, I mean, if you're going to flip, and I have a video on the MTB channel on the difference between pitching and flipping. But if you're going to flip, you're going to want a longer rod, you know, seven, six, eight foot or something like that. But pitching, I like a shorter rod because I'm more accurate. So I like a seven footer to pitch with. Maybe you can go in the middle, seven, three, something like that. Heavy power, fast action would get her done. But um, like I said, it really depends what you're more comfortable with. Yep, I still have the piece of my backpack. It's actually, it's right there. You guys can't see it, but I still got it. Jacob said it's 30 degrees out. Just buy a Ranger. Dude, I wouldn't buy a glass boat, but having to use a 50 horsepower motor, I mean, a glass boat wouldn't really work for me. Sub fishing went nuts for the crowd of DC. Plus, you recommended it for skipping. Now I have to buy one. Yeah, Felipe, man, it really is an excellent reel for skipping, dude. And listen to Joseph, man. Hit the thumbs up. We got almost 90 people on here, 53 thumbs up. Let's get that number up, man. See, so one day you would challenge fishing. One day you would challenge fishing with Mr. Bass Fishing. Who's Mr. Bass Fishing? Old Toad Net Bait Pack a Bug. Scored a Daiwa Tatula 72 medium heavy spinny rod for 72 bucks. That's a good deal, man. John caught a five pounder, five pound, five ounce Slar's mouth today with a Z-Man hammerhead chatterbait with a raid swim. Oh, you mean the jackhammer? Very cool. Joseph says, just realized I have on your swag watching the bitch. Because you're a stud, dude. Alex just picked up a G Loomis NRX and now I've messed up. Nothing else compares and I can't afford to buy Yeah. I can imagine, dude. I bet those are killer rods. See, Tim says, how about a Tackle Junkie 81 tournament next year? Like an online type deal? I guess we could work out something like that. And guys, we do have 90 people on here. You guys know I'll ever see Joseph. They support me. They're one of my sponsors. Again, the link is down in the description. If you guys are local, head over there for an oil change, test drive. If you need a new vehicle, definitely hit them guys up. Link's down in the description. Before you guys leave the chat, if you guys could at least click the link down below and check out the website, that would be awesome. Tokyo rig, you know what I do? I built a couple of those. I made a video on it and then I never fished it. So um, no thoughts at the moment. Can you put those shirts up on your Facebook site? Well, see, I'm not, I'm not going to have uh, before... There was a website forum. And again, I'm not even going to get the lady involved in it just because, um, you know, it made me look like a dummy last time. You know what I'm saying? I just figured we get a tons of orders and we didn't. So I'm not even going, going to involve her if I don't get 25 orders. So, or at least 25 shirts. So, I mean, it could be 15 orders, but if some of you guys order two, then we'll do it. But I need 25 sales or 25 shirts to, to sell before I contact her and do it. So as soon as I, 25 of you guys or whatever, 25 shirts sell, or at least you guys tell me you want them. Then I'll go to her, get everything rolling, and then we'll do PayPal or something for the for the money and all that. And that's how we'll do it. But again, I'm not going to go to her until I know I got the sales because last time it was all messed up. Gary, appreciate the buck, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. Ed, I appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway as well. We'll go over one more time. We got some Z-Man swimmers for you guys. We got a blade bait. Trying to do like kind of like a technique for the time of year type stuff. A couple jerk baits. We got a couple jigs from Mox and Lures. Definitely check them guys out. Quality jigs for sure. We got three chatter baits from Advantage. We got black, white, and green pumpkin. Those three colors will get her done. And for all the big fish you're going to catch, I'm even tossing in one of those PC Fun scales. 
So probably like a hundred dollar value. You guys donate. You're entered in the giveaway. All righty, where are we at? Oh, backyard says I'm just getting started. They better not shut anything down. Yeah, I really doubt they're going to shut it down. They may make it hard on people. They've done that in the past, but I don't see them shutting anything down though. What's going on, Jay? Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. What's going, on, Ismail? What's up, dude? All right, Geraldo, you've been blocked, dude. So I don't know what you're doing, man. But all the uh, Miss Tackle Junkies on top of it. Yeah, babe, get that fool out of here. I don't know what he's saying, but we don't need him in here. Ten Horse Monty, it's another guy you guys should check out. What's up, TGA? Just got done watching an episode of Stranger Things on Netflix and needed to wind down with you. Awesome, dude. Yeah, we finished up that series not too long ago. That's pretty good. What do you think? Oh, you probably haven't finished it yet. They just finished up an episode. Yeah. I guess I'll ask you once you finish it what you think is going to happen at the end there. What's the biggest size you can get in them shirts? Chris, I want to say... Oh, let's see here. I know that some of the t-shirts we could get up to 6XL. Maybe these we could get up to maybe 3 or 4. I'll have to ask her. But again, if you want one... Email me the size, and again, I'll talk to her about it. But let's see if we get to 25 first. Then we'll figure out the details. Guys, we got 100 people on, 62 thumbs up. Let's keep that, keep that number up there, man. Get up to 100 thumbs up. What action do you like for a jerkbait rod? Like a moderate fast. And I guess really, if I am if I feel I'm working it too slow, or too fast, I should say, I'll go to more of just a full moderate that way, uh, you're not actually moving the bait as much as you think you are just because the rod is absorbing a lot of that. So anywhere from a moderate fast to a moderate. But if you tend to work it too fast, go to a full moderate, and it'll kind of slow you down a little bit. Fishing with Dave, man, what are you going to order? Tim, you like that video on the DC? I tell you what, I got um, Fuego, the Daiwa Fuego CT. That review is going to come at you guys soon. It's already done. The SLX is already done. And the Pro Qualifier 2. All three of those are already done. So you guys will be seeing those here really soon. Okay, John. Um, extra fast action. To be honest, bud, all these rods behind you guys, probably 75 rods back here, there might be a couple extra fast. And I don't use them too often. The only time that um, I... I'm going to say I really don't hardly use them much anymore. But the only time I used to use them years ago, again, when you're up close and personal type fishing, pitching and flipping pretty much, just because that tip's got a lot more power to it. So if you're, you know, pitching a jig, you know, 15 foot from you and you get hit, you got a lot more power in that rod versus a really soft rod where maybe they can get you wrapped up or something like that. Um, if you're using a softer rod, but that faster rod has got more power, much faster versus a slower rod. That's really the only time that I use them. I mean, you can use them for top water just because it's just a, it's much more of a responsive tip. Um, some guys say it makes a dog or it walks the dog easier versus a slower rod. I still prefer a slower rod in those situations. But um, and plus, when you're fighting fish with treble hooks, I still like the slower tip. But again, you can still walk them well with a faster action. But really, the only time that I've used them, like I said, was, you know, pitching and flipping, up close when I want more power in that tip. But again, I really don't use an extra fast action really anymore. And I do have a video. Becky, you can probably find it. Um, see here. I think it's called, um, oh, what is that called? I made it a few years ago. Um, something about, um, it, it might be something with power and actions in the title. I don't know what happened, man. I froze up. Where are we at? Okay, we were just talking about the extra fast, right? Yeah, I don't know what happened, guys. The screen just froze up. Hopefully, you guys are still there. But yeah, baby, if you can find that video, I'm wearing a red shirt. I might be holding the jig and the thumbnail. I'll link that video in here, and that really explains when I'd go from one rod to another. Full armor, full armor bass. Appreciate it, buddy. 
Ricky French Jr. What's up, dude? Sorry I missed the last few weeks. Been busy prepping for a brand new baby boy on the way. We'll be here in three weeks. I'm stoked. Another co-angler added to the team. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations, man. I do appreciate you tuning in. Uh, C says, perfect. Thank you. I do like a shorter rod. I have a 7.3 Heavy with 20-pound cigar fluorocarbon brace X. That'll work perfect, man. Or any of you guys have any issues with the stream? Just let me know. Like I said, just because I just went... Uh, I just blacked out here a second ago. Can you fish a jig with a 7.3 heavy fast action rod? Of course, dude. That's a perfect setup, man. Thank you, Simon. You use the Tokyo rig for punching. I'll get through the mat with half the weight. Nah, Vexus, man. I need a I need a much lighter boat. I gotta stick with aluminum. I need a 50 horsepower max. The data bites 81s when I was born, buddy. Yep, he got it. Also, fall bass seemed tricky. Had two bites on the KVD 1.5 today, but it seems like a short strike. As soon as I go to set the hook, I got them. Then they jump off. Any tips or tricks? Um, you know, when you're getting short strike, it could be color, for one. You know, you need to look at how they're eating the bait. Um, this time of year, though, sometimes I'll go to a lighter wire treble or even sometimes a round bend. It's because, you know, when they're eating that EWG style hook and when they're eating that triple grip, I mean, you pin them good, dude. But if they're swiping at it, you'll hook up better with a round bend. So you can try that out. Again, you can change color to get them eat a little bit better. Add a red hook in front. Um, a few tricks like that might work for you. But so sometimes, man, they just don't want it, you know. What is the best way to store rods and reels for the winter uh, leave line on or take it off. I leave the line on because I'll use the majority of the line uh, the first first month or two of next season. Just make sure your drag is loose. Now, I loosen my drag after every single trip. I know a lot of guys don't, but um, you definitely need to loosen it at the end of the year. That way those those drag washers can, um, how do you want to say it? I guess when you have it tightened down, they're uh, compressed. So you need to loosen it up so they can expand back out. That way you actually have your drag. So Definitely store your reels with a drag loose. And again, you can leave the line on if you want. But um, that's about all there is to it. Thank you, Doug. I do appreciate it, buddy. You are the man. Killer video with the crowd of DC on skipping. Loved it. Appreciate it, Perry. Starting on third season. Very good action. I have no idea how it's going to end. Yeah, dude. It ends pretty good, man. Tim, hey, Jim, what are you thinking about loading up on during the Tech Warehouse Black Friday sale? I'll probably pick up a couple of reels to review next season. I'm thinking about the uh, the Daiwa Elite for sure. Um, there's one that I'm not, not going to tell you guys. It's going to be a surprise. And then I also might get that um, that green one from, from uh, 13 Fishing. A few of you guys have asked about that one as well. But I'm sure I'll get some odds and in tackle, but mainly a couple of reels to review. That piece of my backpack, man, I really like it. So I use that one this season. Next season, I'm going to use that Ego one behind me behind me here. But the piece of my one, yeah, it's really nice. C digs the Pro Qualifier 2. I should have got two more when they were on sale. For, dude, for 49 bucks, man, it's a steal. Even at 100 bucks, though, that reel, full retail, it's killer, man. I've been using those reels for years. And uh, you'll hear all that in my review. Ryan, what fish finder do you recommend for a new user? Man, I'm, I'm like totally out of the fish finder game, dude. My units are so old, I just haven't upgraded them. I mean, they got down scan, side imaging, and all that. They they got a lot of great features on them, but fish finders have come so far that I couldn't even tell you uh, which one to get just because I haven't looked at them in forever just because, you know, I'm fine with the ones that I'm using. So I probably will never upgrade those unless I'm fishing like clear water where I really need to scan and, and really try to find fish. But for what I'm doing, my units are just perfect. Uh, German Troy, I appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're in the giveaway. I must be way behind on the comments here. You thought it was on your end. You're talking about the stream, I'm assuming. I almost got that backpack yesterday, but I opted for the larger casking duffel style. That's cool. B. Davis, what's your thought about changing to aftermarket bearings on reels? Uh, B. Davis, I used to do that all the time. 
and uh, they do make a difference, but I'm not really for sure it makes enough difference to justify the price. You know, Boca Bearings is what I've used, the orange seals, and, you know, you do gain a few extra feet, maybe 10, 15, 20 feet maybe, uh, but you, you can definitely make the same cast as you were before, but with way less effort. So, I mean, it really depends what it's worth to you. They do make a difference, not huge, but good, they are nice. You know, I'll, I'll leave it like that. I used to do it all the time, but yeah, I haven't done it in years. What is your favorite reel? Man, that's a tough one. Um, favorite reel. You know, I, I had a couple of them, and then I sold one, and I have one left that I never used, and it's discontinued. It's the Daiwa, I think it's the SV-103. And uh, it's kind of like the old G, OG Zillions, you know? And it's a really a killer, killer reel. And I probably will never use it just because, again, they're discontinued now. So now I just look at it. <laughs> What's going on, Mom? Yeah, I think you called me right when I hit start of the stream, so I did not answer. Do you have a favorite brand of replacement skirts? Uh, I think boss skirts I use the most. I think if I have some around here, I probably do. Um, yeah, hold on a second here. I got them right here. Right there, boss skirts, probably what I use the most. All right. Have you used a Guggen Bates crankbait yet? Yes, I've used a square bill, and I'm going to finish up that review probably tomorrow. You guys will see that in the next week or so. Tim, how late do you fish in the year? I get I get same weather up here around Chicago. Be great to hook up at some uh, lake next year. Yeah, sure, dude. As far as when I stop fishing, probably right now, I, you know, if I fish clearer water, I'd probably still be taking the boat out. But fishing muddy water, just with my experience on the lakes that I fish, once that water temp is 50 degrees and it's dropping, then uh, the bites is terrible. You know, if it's 50 and rising, it's different. But 50 and dropping, it's like those lakes just completely shut down. So I stopped taking the the boat out, and I just kind of finished the year off at the farm ponds. And I'll fish those till it freezes. So I probably still got a couple months left, and then I'll be packing it up for the season. No shave November. You can't shave your head. What's going on, Dan? Appreciate the buck, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. Oh, there's a video right there. Rod action powers and lengths. That really is an excellent video. A ton of info in that video. So if you guys are curious, check that video out right there. For me, Hummingbird is most user-friendly for beginners. Yeah, Tom, to be honest, when I picked my units out years ago, I bet I looked at them for a solid year. And that's kind of what I came up with myself. I was going back with low rants and hummingbird back and forth. And at that time, hummingbird was way more user friendly. Our Lucky Craft LV 500s, yeah, man, those are pretty good, dude, for sure, Nick. I mean, any Lucky Craft bait um, that I've used has been worth the money. Matt Birch, man, I'm, I'm closing in on a fast. I hope, dude, fifty thousands. It's in the near future, dude. Guggen Slayer, hell yeah. Hell yeah, tackle streams rock. Uh, crazy kid fishing, love your video. And what is your favorite type of Ned rig? You know, I don't I don't toss a Ned rig much, bud. Um, the Mustad little grip pin um, Neds I use, the ones from Picasso. Um, mainly just little like TRDs, things like that. But again, I don't toss it a bunch just because I fish pretty muddy water. I don't have a ton of confidence in it just yet. What size and style treble hook square bill one point five? Um, you know, like a 1.5, it'll hold probably a two short shank, but I'll run a four short shank and, um, must add, you know, you could probably put on there, um, if you're going to put on there a longer shank, probably a number four, a uh, two would be pretty big and would probably tangle. Again, I like the short shanks. Normally a number four is what I run on all my 1.5 size. If I'm going to step down to like the, the bomber square a size, 
then I'll go to a six, but in the short shank. Fat boy, Dan, great outdoors. Appreciate it, buddy. White whale fish, what's up, man? Do you think the power plant shutting down will affect Coffee Lake? Uh, I think it actually might make it better. I mean, that lake gets so much pressure, and obviously the lake will probably freeze now, at least a, a portion of it will. So I would say, you know, fishing next year should should be even better just because those fish are going to get a break where it gets hammered all winter long. So I would think it would do some good. Uh, have you tried the Ketchco Bobonic 2.5? I got it at 1.5, and um, I have not. Actually, I had it tied on last time out, but I wanted to review the, the Guggen crank. So while I was fishing with that, and I never had time to finish up fishing with the Bobonic, though. But um, I'll get to it. I didn't believe they made it in a 2.5. I know I got it in a 1.5. Mike says, love the Shimano skipping video I skipped with the Tattoo SV. 103 also. That's cool. No problem, Nick. So you had some success this weekend on a spinnerbait, but my hands did get really cold. What do you do to keep the hands warm? Sub 40 degree weather. I probably still got them around here, right here. Fish monkey gloves. These are the woolly, and it's got the cut fingers there. So you can obviously you can use your fingertips, but these work really well. I use these all um, last winter, and again, I'll be using them this winter as well. And you guys can use code TJ81 to get 20% off at fishmonkeygloves.com. I believe these are around 20 bucks or so, and again, they're called the woolly. Do you and the wife fish against each other? Um, yeah, we do have a few videos. Babe, if you want to post those, we did make a few videos um, on the boat this year, kind of fishing against each other. They're pretty good. 10 horse body. Yes, sir, dude. I've been hitting the gym now for quite a while, going three days a week. I'll be actually there in the morning. So, yes, sir, man. Tim, I appreciate the three bucks, buddy. You're into the giveaway. What's that tackle bag behind you? Looks pretty sweet. That is from Ego. That's the same company. Actually, those coolers are from Ego as well. But if you guys have seen the nets that I use, uh, that's the company that uh, makes those nets as well. It's called Ego, E-G-O. Nick, appreciate three bucks, buddy. You're into the giveaway. Guggen Slayer, dude. Yeah, man, I love the square bill for sure, man. You know, if I could catch him with the square bill all year long, you know what? I guess I do throw a square bell all year long. So what am I saying? What am I saying here? Jacob, uh, I got the same Wi-Fi, but I got a different phone. I was with AT&T. We switched to Verizon. This is the Note 10 Plus. And uh, yeah, same Wi-Fi, though. Unless you're talking to Greg. I believe he's supposed to actually have his fixed uh, last week. Ask the wife for an Altstrex. With spot for the new boat. Yeah, that I'm not asking her. It'll have it for sure. Hopefully it has that and two power poles. Mark loves the fish monkey gloves. I use the frog talk fingerless gloves. 11 bucks. Very cool. Tackle Warehouse has the Bobonic 2.5. Okay, that's cool. There we go. Husband versus, husband versus wife. Yeah, Jacob, that's what I was thinking, dude. You meant Greg. That's cool, though. It's like 45 minutes in. We're caught up. We got 88 people on still. 78 thumbs up, 90 people on. If you guys keep hitting that thumbs up, that would be awesome. Jim, got a roll, brother. God bless you and the family, buddy. You too, buddy. I do appreciate you tuning in, man. You take care, full armor. Ron, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're into the giveaway. And guys, remember, if you donated, once the video is processed, come back to the channel because the winner will be down in the comments. Reply to me. And um, like I said, I'll ship everything out. And we do have... The Z-Man Swimmers, the 10,000 Fish Blade Bait, we got a couple of Jerk Baits, we got two Moxon Lures Football Jigs, we have three Advantage Lures Chatter Baits, Black and Blue, White and Green Pumpkin, and then me throwing in the PC Fun Scale, about $100 value if you guys donate, you're entered in that giveaway. Where are we at? If you're winter fishing, pet, if you're winter fishing, get a couple of wristbands like tennis players. 
wear and take a hand warmer packet and put one on each wrist under the wristband. I do. That's a good tip, man. Appreciate that, Tom. How's it going, bro? What is the biggest fish you've ever caught? Anders, handmade craft. What's up? Biggest fish ever caught? Um, I probably, probably a catfish. I think it was around 11 pounds. Bass, seven pounds. Carp, about 10 pounds. What's going on, Dan? Some of the pros talk about sanding, scuffing the baits. Your thoughts? Um, sanding. I know I've heard guys like on the bills make them thinner so they dive a little bit deeper, things like that. I don't do anything like that. Some guys have even, I know, put baits up on their like their dash and had the sun fade them. Again, you know, I don't have the water clarity where that kind of stuff really matters. It might work, but I've never done anything. I've never done anything like that. All right, Fisherman Dave, appreciate you tuning in, buddy. Jacob, yeah, you can send me a message or you guys can email me. But like I said earlier, if you guys want a TJ81 shirt, I don't want to go through the whole spiel again. But if you want a shirt, you guys know I sold them before, I stopped. But if you want a, if you want a shirt, email me or message me and let me know how many you want. I'm only doing black, red, blue, and charcoal. I need to know how many you want in size. And if I get to 25 shirts, I'll put the order in. If we don't get to 25 shirts, we're not even doing it. Uh, upstate, you want to show the toolkit you use? Oh, that's right, man. I was going to message you and I forgot all about it. Let me find that. Um, where is it even at? Oh, wait, you know what? Is it? That ain't it. Um, give me a second here, dude. I got to figure out where it's at. Hold on. That is a good question. Oh, here it is. I found it. I got on Amazon. I'm not even sure how you pronounce it, but these are like a really, really good uh, brand here. Maybe Weha, something like that. I really don't know. It's W I H A Premium Tools, and I just got the. You guys can see that it's just a Phillips and a flathead set, and all these sizes here work really well for all the reels that I've taken apart. But yeah, that is the um, that is the brand there. W I H A. I mean, I've used, you know, um, like little husky ones that you can get at Home Depot and things like that. Those work just as good. But it seems like I've, I've rounded off less screws, you know, with those heads. Those heads really are nice on that set. Chris, TJ1 got my Shockwave Pros Friday. They look really good. Can't wait to get out and try them. Yeah, dude, I got a video coming out on those probably, to, probably Tuesday. And they do. They look awesome, man. I'm pumped to play around with them, dude. White whale fishing. Wow, great giveaway tonight. Those advantage chatterbaits have a direct tie or split ring. Let me show one to you. There's a split ring right there. Blade. And here's your tie up here. Okay. So you ever use a fanny pack? I uh, can't say I have. What do you think about the favorite Phantom Series rods? I've never used favorite rods. Couldn't tell you, buddy. N5KDA. Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. Been bass fishing just over a year. My PB is four pounds. Can't beat that, dude. It's awesome. John, what time of year do you use a spinnerbait, mm -hmm. and what type of area do you throw it? Uh, John, I got a video... Uh, that my wife here will link in the comments. Um, babe, I think it's called Watch This Video Before You Toss a Spinnerbait. I think it's like, I don't know, it's longer. It's, um, I think I'm wearing a blue shirt on the thumbnail. Watch that video, buddy. That'll give you all the tips you need to know on a spinnerbait. The shirts are 25 plus shipping. And that's what they were before uh, when I had them up on the site. 25 bucks. And I think it's like $6.95 for shipping. So 32 bucks for the performance shirts. And I'm only having just long sleeve performance because if I do short sleeve, then I got to have 25 orders for those two. So we're only going to do long sleeve performance. It's got UPF 50 in it and uh, black, red, blue, and charcoal. Again, just email me or message me 
the size, how many you want, colors. And once I reach 25 shirts, then we'll talk about payment, PayPal, and, and all that. And I'll put the order in. But we got to wait till we get there first. He graduated high school in 81. I graduated in 99, dude. Water temps dropping like a rock here in Indiana. Winter is coming hard and fast. Been getting lucky on the S waiver drop shot and the jig. Any action for you? Uh, I was out, I guess, last fr was last Friday. I guess last Friday was the last time that I've been out. And I caught one keeper, a few small ones on the square bill. And I haven't been out since then. But I'd imagine water temp now is probably in the 40s. And like I've always said, muddy water below 50. Just go home, dude. So it's kind of where I'm at with that. <laughs> I'll probably hit the ponds from here on out until we freeze. Is it hard to oil the Corrado DC? I'll be honest, I don't know, but I haven't had that one apart. The saltwater fishing today, and we caught 19 rockfish. Cool. Aaron Wetzel in the house. Hello, all just got on. What's the swag? Aaron, maybe you've probably been on since I'm behind on comments. You probably heard. I just mentioned it. If not, I'll mention it again before the uh, the show's up here. Why did Favorite drop the Googans? I don't really know. I heard a few guys talking about that. I really don't know what's going on with the Googans and Favorite. I have no idea. I did notice that uh, Lunkers is not using them anymore. I don't really know about the other guys. And I only checked his video to see just because somebody told me about it. But I really don't watch those guys. But, yeah, I am kind of curious myself what happened there. Dan, TJ21, how can I post... How can I post you and viewers can see nothing bad? What? How can I post you? TJ81, how can I post you and viewers can see nothing bad? So viewers can't see? Is that what you mean, bud? Moccasin lures. It seems like everyone throws a double willow blade combination on spinnerbaits. With your muddy water, have you ever messed with Devil Colorado? I have moccasin lures, I have, and I just had better luck with the with the double willow. I'm not sure if it's the flash or what. And again, you would think in muddier water, the slower the better. But again, you know, the Colorado makes you actually reel them much slower with all the something thump that they have. But even reeling it slower and all that extra vibration. I've just done way better mm -hmm. with a double mm -hmm. willow. I can't say that I even I don't know if I even own any more double, double Colorado just because all I throw now is double willow just because that's what I've had the best luck on. So whether it be the flash or just the fact that um, I'm reeling it faster just because you can reel willows faster, you know, it's coming by and quicker. They have less time to think about it and they just hit it. I really don't know what the deal is with it. Again, you would think the double Colorado would do better, but for whatever reason, man, the double willow gets it done. That's pretty much all I buy anymore, double willow. And gold, I will say gold or copper works better than silver, but, you know, when I get a little bit of, of clearing in the water color, you know, when I, a little bit of clarity, I'll, I'll throw the silver, but if it's chocolate milk or pretty stained up or muddy or whatever, you know, that gold or that copper really does well. White whale fishing, check it one. Hey, this is GT Bass 77 Greg. Okay, from Indiana. Change my name so I can be consistent on all my social media. That's cool, dude. I appreciate it, buddy. Do you like chatterbaits? Yes, dude. I love the chatterbaits. I probably throw uh, the Picassos the most. But I mean, Z-Man. I mean, there's a ton of different ones out there. The Advantage. I mean, you name it, the company makes a chatterbait. Big Show. I do believe we were able to get the uh, the performance of 4XL. I do believe so. And there is a spinnerbait video right there. Watch this before you throw your next spinnerbait. Whoever was asking about that, that video will definitely help you out. Double Colorado. Big thump for dirty water. I feel... I feel it helps big time. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what the, the standard is. But, I mean, for whatever reason on my lakes, man, just it does not get bit. The data binds. Okay, TJ, Patriots are down 10 to 1. Got to focus. Keep on keeping on, dude. All right, buddy. Appreciate you tuning in, man. And we got 93 people still on. 93 thumbs up. That is awesome. Let's see here. Oh, Dan, hold on. Are you talking about a video? You want to make a video and send it to me? If that's what you're getting at, you can just send it to me on Facebook. Uh, 
Uh, I have not used a Thunder Cricket yet. I have a couple, but I um, haven't used them yet, so I can't compare the two. Jackhammer, I mean, I don't know. I just haven't had the, had the I have not had the best luck on it yet. Um, I mean, I'm still going to keep fishing it, and I'm sure I will, but I'm just, I love the, sh the shock blades, and to me, uh, I don't know, I just like them better. I, don't, I really don't know why I like them better. Um, I feel like I got more thump out of them. And uh, like I said, the pros just came out. You guys will be seeing a video on those on Tuesday. And you guys know I am somewhat partnered with Picasso, but I've never just given my opinion just because I'm with somebody. Like I've never said, oh, they're best because I'm with them. You know, I don't do that. So I tell you guys my honest opinion. And um, like I said, for whatever reason, the Picassos work better for me. And I'm sure the jackhammers are going to come into play eventually. I haven't used them that much, but for whatever reason, um, I like, uh, like I said, I like the, the shock blades better. Maybe, I guess what it could be too is just like, I don't feel like I can reel the jackhammers. And you guys chime in on this. Like, I'm, not, I'm no pro on this, but I don't feel like the jackhammers for me are as consistent. Now, it could be too because, you know, since I'm fishing shallow water majority of the time, I'm throwing a lighter. A lighter chatterbait. Usually, um, I'm not sure if jackhammers, jackhammers even come in a quarter, but I do throw a quarter a lot in the shock blades. But jackhammers, I throw th uh, I throw three eighths. Now, a lot of guys might throw half, and maybe they just have better, you know, um, better consistency than the the three eighths does. So let me know if you guys throw three eighths, you throw half more. I just I mean I know the jackhammers are going to catch fish. Just they're just not catching fish for me yet, you know. So yeah, I'm not, not. I'm definitely not saying they're bad. They've proven themselves to be one of the best chatterbaits out there. But uh, like I said, for whatever reason, they're just they're just not not putting fish in the boat for me just yet. Mm -hmm. You might want to post the info on the shirts in the description for the next few videos for folks who missed your announcement. Thanks for the video, TJ. No problem, Tim. Yeah, I just figured I would just go ahead and make some posts on Facebook and Instagram, and then I'd also figure that I would um, mention this on my live streams. Because I figured all the guys tuning into this are kind of like the true fans, you know. So I just figured you guys are going to want them before other guys. So let's kind of see how that plays out. But again, um, if I don't get 25 orders, then we're not going to do it. Aaron Wetzel, I appreciate 20 bucks, buddy. That is awesome, man. You're definitely entered in the giveaway. We'll go over it one more time. We do have the 10,000 fish blade bait. I'm trying to kind of match the time of year here with some of these baits. We do have some swim baits from Z-Man. We got a couple of jerk baits. Okay. We got the Moxon Lures football jigs. Okay. We got three Advantage Lures chatter baits. White, black, and blue green pumpkin. Okay. And I'm also tossing in a PC Fun scale. About a $100 value. If you guys donate, you're interested in that giveaway. Hey, y'all, I'm from Indiana as well. Very cool, dude. Wait, who dropped the Guggen Squad brand again? Um, I've heard favorite. I, I'm not sure if they dropped them all or what. There's a lot of talk going on. I thought it was just Lunkers and LFG not using them anymore. I really don't know any details, so I'm not going to really speak on it. But I, I, did, hear, I did hear there was an issue with the Guggens, or some of the Guggens, and favorite rods. Uh, Octavius, what's up, dude? Dan, you want to post a video here? <clears throat> post a video here. Where my water go? I'll leave it out there. I don't know. Um, thought I got a bottle of water. I don't have to. Uh, hey, babe, if you're watching this, have Michael bring me down a bottle of water. If you want to post a video here, I guess you can, but everyone will see it. I'm not really sure what it is. I mean, you can send it to me like on Facebook if you want. Smart move by favorite. Yeah, I'm not really sure who dropped who or what happened. Have you tried the chatter bait? Oh, yeah, dude. We were just talking about chatter baits earlier. Fishing in muddy water, man. I love the chatter bait. Curious on the moving line tie. Respect your opinion and have ordered a few crickets. Thanks. Yeah, we'll play around with the muddy and then we'll just go from there. I'm not sure if maybe that allows the bait to move over cover better or whatever the case may be. Or just maybe just give it more action in general. But once I play around with it, I'll let you guys know. Well, yeah, dude, the the, the, the tungsten shock blades, 
I love those two, man. Lots of thump on those, man. Yeah. Thank you, dude. Welcome, I'm water boy. Oh, yo, Kaiser. Get out of here, yo, Hoosier. Let's see here. What do you say? Picasso Tunks of Chocolate. I think we were going to talk about that one. I feel I get more thump from an original chatterbait at start of retrieve. I will say that too. I even think I said that in my video. The original Z Man, I felt hit harder than the Jackhammer. But I guess just because they're calling the Jackhammer, I'm not so sure it's because of how hard it thumps. I mean, you think the name would imply that. A lot of guys say it's a hunting action. A lot of guys say it's the blade hitting the head, but there's a lot of them that does that. I mean, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I just, I, I don't want to rip on it just because, I mean, it's proven to be a fish catcher. I mean, it's probably one of the best out there just for whatever reason. They're just not working for me. I don't know. I don't know why, but um, it's definitely a good chatterbait. Who makes the Thunder Cricket striking? Yep, striking. Water temps just hit 68 here. Man, fish hitting the surface everywhere around the boat, but won't bite anything I throw. Crank swim, uh, jig spooks, buzzbait, wacky worm, everything. Any tips? You know, if they're on shad, dude, you know, out in open water, man, matching the hatch is one thing, but sometimes you want to be just a little bit different so they can pinpoint your bait versus all the shad, things like that. So if you are fishing, say, top water, you know, just throw a little bit different color compared to what they're eating. Stand out in the crowd, you know. Try the jackhammer with the braid. I throw three eighths with the echo trailer. It makes a difference. It must, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try that, man. Just because, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting what everyone else is getting. So I definitely have to try that on braid. And I throw them on a softer rod too. And I, I think I even said in that video. I almost wonder if the rod was absorbing too much of the thump. But that being said, when I'm tossing the shock blades, I feel a ton of thump. So I will try the braid for sure just to figure out what's going on. But um, I definitely want to catch some fish on it. Perry said, my son and I went to Toledo Bend in March. The Z-Man chatterbait jackhammer caught all my fish from three pounds and five pound bass. That's what I'm saying, dude. No doubt they're going to catch fish. Like I said, I'm not ripping on a bait. Upstate's been throwing the half ounce jackhammer with the new Berkeley trailer called the Deal. Man, I like that deal, dude. I've been throwing that as well. Not as a trailer. I've been throwing it by itself, but... I like that bait. The fluke style trailer helps keep it down over a paddle tail or a craw. Good tip, man. Ten Horse Mountain's out. Appreciate it, buddy. Good seeing you, man. Appreciate you stopping in. I had the first video of the Mondo box from Academy I work at, and Lunkers TV gave me a shout out on his Instagram. That's cool. Very cool. What we have to do to enter the giveaway, you just donate. You donate whatever amount, and you're entered. You donate a buck, five bucks, ten bucks, whatever you want to donate, you're entered. So if we only have ten people that donated, you know, it's out of you ten guys, who wins the gear here? Again, $100 value or so with baits here. And how we do it, if there's ten guys that donated, we use a, uh, like a random number generator, one through ten. It gives us a number. We count up how you guys donated, and that's who wins. And if you did donate, make sure you look back. When the video is processed, because I'll have the winner down in the comments, it'll be pinned. Reply to me, and I'll ship everything out. Have you seen the Berkeley Powerbait Champ Crawl? Looks super realistic. Yes, I've seen them. They look awesome. You guys, tackle junkie. I had to get those too. I heard on a video somewhere that the Guggen dropped favorite, not the other way around. Yeah. Who knows? Jack Hammer does a tungsten weight. Don't know why it's not advertised on the package that has to add to the cost. That's a good point, dude. Why it would be more? So you don't some of them own a big portion of the company. I did think that I did think they did have stock in favor. Yes, I did. Project Z, I did. I, did. I have used those in the past. And to me, I'd have to say those felt like they had more vibration as well than the jackhammer. It just, it's like the jackhammer, it's just like it's not consistent. You know, and like a lot of guys say it hunts and it looked like it hunted as I was fishing it when I did that video. But again, that being said, I almost thought that it was speed sensitive. If I reel, reel too fast, it would kick out. 
So I just don't think I had that bait figured out yet. So, but again, like I said, I did have good luck with the Project Z's. But once I tried the uh, the shock blades, it's like it was all over. It's pretty much all I used. Need to head off to bed. A long day at work tomorrow today, and I'm sure tomorrow will be the same. Wish it was a long day of fishing instead. Yeah. All right, dog. Appreciate you, buddy. What's going on, Victor? Mark. All right, dude. I'll get the emails after the stream. Like I said, if you guys want a shirt? Email in the description. Message me on social media. And once we get to 25 orders, then we'll go ahead and put the order in, and I'll get you guys the shirts. But until then, we're going to hold off. Yo, Zuri Super Braid. I haven't used that one, man. The main braid that I use is a Sunline FX2. All right, Tom says the Jackhammer Tungsten is a J Japan release, not really readily available in the States. Okay. Thinking of joining Carl's, is the credit that you is the credit they say you get when you buy something like a gift card, same as cash. Thanks, love the channel, long time sub. Awesome, Mike, do appreciate you being here, man. Appreciate you tuning in. Carl's, man, there's a link down in the description. If you guys are going to join Carl's, it would be awesome if you guys would go through my link. I will get paid if you guys go through the link. It just shows I'm doing my job. If you guys would like to check it out, again, link down in the description. Let's say, yeah, if you buy a reel, if it says a $40 credit, or whatever it says, $10 credit, I'm not really sure what they are. But whatever the credit is, even if you buy a bait, if there's a credit, when you sign in to your account, it'll be there. So it's not a gift card. They don't give you a gift card. It's not like an online gift card. It's just tied to your account. So whenever you sign in, you'll see, oh, I got a $10 credit. So that's how you get that. And like I said, if you guys do join Carl's Club, it's a free 30-day trial. If you don't like it after 30 days, you cancel. It didn't cost you a dime. And while you were there for the 30 days, you got to save some money. It's up to 30% off on everything on the site. And some things, you do get credits. So pretty good deal, man. LFG and Lunkers did just do a mass rod giveaway. Wonder if that was connected. Could be. I don't know, man. Project Z is my favorite Z-Man Chatterbait. Starts just as fast as the Jackhammer and better bang for the buck. For sure. Sweet Lou, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. Thanks for all the tips. Keep up the great content. Yeah, guys, we'll have videos out Tuesday and Thursday. <clears throat> Tuesday and Thursday. Keep a look out for those. Throat's getting a little dry. Uh, are you going to do an unboxing for the Black Friday? Most likely. Um, I'm not, I don't plan on getting too much tackle. Probably a couple more reels to review the following season. But I'm sure I'll go ahead and do a video and show you guys what I got. I have not fished Mill Creek. Uh, Raymond Steele, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. Do you ever use flipping hooks? Do you ever use a flipping hook with your stick baits? Now, I usually EWG on those. This isn't fishing related. Let's go, Ravens. Octavius, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. All right, Jacob. See you in a few, buddy. If we're still on here, man. Use the link in all the video descriptions for Carl's if you guys sign up. Yeah, I got Carl's in every one of my videos down in the description. But if you guys may not know it, there's a lot of discounts down in the description as well. For Fish Monkey, for Calco's Fishing, I mean, Biospawn, you name it. There's discounts down there, so definitely check those out. Has Carl's gotten the shipping times down? I made one order. It was 19 days. They took care of me by offering a coupon code. Raymond, you know, like I said before in my last video, they're not Amazon, dude. They can't do overnight shipping. I don't believe they intended to get the amount of sales that they get, especially during their sales. So I think they get an amount in or allowance of baits or whatever. But, I mean, they literally get thousands of orders in. So I think they end up running out of stuff they thought they would have enough of. That's kind of why things are delayed because they're trying to get more baits in to fill those orders. So all I can say is, you know, like I said, they're not Amazon. It's going to be a longer shipping than you're probably used to. You know, six, seven days. Sometimes it's been two weeks, I've even said in my video. Like you said, 19 days. But if you look at their bigger sales, I mean, there was times... On one of their sales, you're getting a pack of bow cross for like two bucks. It was like two dollars, like twenty cents. So I mean, that's a killer, killer deal. So if I have to wait some extra time to save that kind of money, I really don't complain about it. It is what it is. But I mean, I have the same issue as you guys with the shipping. It is what it is. Like I said, during their sales, it's longer than usual. Other than that, it's pretty fast. But again, it's kind of worth the savings. And like you said, 
they always take care of it. So, Victor, I was thinking about doing a Black Friday buyer's guide. I was. So I might do something with that. I think about doing something too, like, you know, top, top 10 things that anglers should have, you know, something like that as well. Kind of like, kind of like cool little, like, um, I don't want to say must haves, kind of like cool little tools and things like that, that, um, I always have with me or something like that, that, you know, you guys might think is cool. So we'll do something like that. TJ, other than Tackle Warehouse, what online tackle sites do you monitor for sales? Know of any big sales coming up? Um, tackle Warehouse, obviously Carl's. Um, Monster Fishing Tackle, I go from there from time to time. Tackle Freaks, I go to there from time to time. That's kind of what I do. I mean, even when I bought the S waivers, I shopped around for those because I think Tackle Warehouse had these for like 19 bucks or something like that. And I think Monster Fishing Tackle had them for like 16 so, again, I just shop around for pretty much everything to get the best deal. But, yeah, just check out Tackle Warehouse. Check out uh, Carl's, um, Tackle Freaks, Monster Fishing Tackle. I'm sure there's even more. I mean, I've even looked on Amazon for things, fishing hooks and things like that. I mean, Amazon stocks quite a bit, too. What do you think about Lou's BB1 Pro? James, I tell you what, hang tight, buddy. Becca, go ahead and link my review of the BB1 Pro, please. I haven't used the BB1. I've used the BB1 Pro, and i got a review on it. And hopefully my wife here can link that down below. Uh, Bill, workouts are going good, man. I'm doing three days a week. As far as benching goes, I do a lot of like um, dumbbell stuff. I don't really do a ton of um, bench presses. I got pretty bad shoulders. I know I got shoulder spurs in this shoulder here. So I don't get too much weight as I'm benching. But I typically, um, when I'm doing dumbbell benches and things like that, I usually work out with 255-pound dumbbells. So I can do that, you know, fairly easy, which I probably could go up to either 60 or 65 pounds in each hand doing dumbbell presses. But like I said, with that shoulder spur I got going on in there, man, if I come down too far or if I'm on too much of an angle, I can feel that just popping over my, whatever was going on in there. I don't know. So yeah, so when it comes to benching, I don't do too much weight. I mean, even like push-ups, I'm lucky if I can do five push-ups just because of that shoulder. So yeah, the bench press is not really one of my big things. And there is a BB1 Pro review right there, bud. I want to give you a big thanks for all the tips and awesome content since you have started. You have progressed a lot. Thank you. Keep it up and can't wait for your next vid. Got to go. Great live stream. All right, Jonathan. Appreciate it, buddy. That's awesome, man. I do appreciate the comment. Have you ever used the shock blade tungsten knocker? Heavy I have not used the heavy cover. I've used the regular one, but not the heavy cover, bud. What's your thought on Mustad hooks? I've used the triple grips and like them, but haven't used any of the other hooks. Well, if you look at my wall of Mustad right there, you can say that I'm a fan. And babe, if you can link that video down below as well, choosing the right hook for each bait, that's to show you guys all the Mustad hooks that I use. But yeah, I really like uh, what really turned me on to the majority of their, like their, I guess their soft plastic type hooks is the grip pin. I use Trocar for a while. But with my experience with those, their pin tore the baits up more than actually saving them. So the grip pin works really well. And I pretty much use the grip pin, grip pin for even like their, their little finesse type hooks for like a fine wire, like little drop shot hooks if you want a Texas rig. They're called the Edge. They got the grip pin on there. Uh, the EWGs, they got a swim bait hook with it. Uh, their flipping hook, they all got that little grip pin on there. And that's really what turned me on to those hooks. Any experience with Tackle Direct? Seems like no tax out of New Jersey Academy Sports. Um, I have picked up a few things from Academy Sports. I've never been into Academy Sports. Just shopping online from time to time. But I don't think I've ever shopped at Tackle Direct. Not that I can remember. Uh, Michael, hey, brother. It's getting cold pretty much all around. Is it still able to fish when it's... Is it still able to fish when it's winter or 50 degrees and below... Also fish from the bank. Thank you. Um, I mean, 50 degrees is pretty good. I mean, I, with my experience, you guys know I fish muddy water. With my experience, when it's 50 degrees and dropping and you got muddy water, go do something else. If it's 50 degrees and rising, you can usually get bit. Now, clear water, you hear guys say like 50 degrees like the magic number. But again, fishing that dirty water, it's the magic number for me to stop fishing those lakes. So I just hit the ponds. 
uh, when it's 50 degrees and dropping from here on out. But um, yeah, man, as long as you got some clear water, 50 degrees, you should should you should be able to still get bit. Do you ever get stuff from Fisherman Central? I don't believe so. Yeah, Mox and Lures, they would know. I believe all their jigs got mustad hooks in them. Good choice, guys. Good choice. And there's that video right there, choosing the right style hook. How many videos do you think you have posted on YouTube? Victor, I would have bet, I'd bet probably around 900 maybe. You could even be pushing 1,000. I don't know. Definitely 900, I'd, I'd have to bet. When do you normally use a chatterbait? I use a chatterbait pretty much all year. I think it's great in the springtime. I'll put it this way. I think it's best in colder water. That's kind of too when I pick a chatterbait over a spinnerbait. If I want a little bit of flash, some vibration, and uh, the water's colder, I go to the chatterbait versus spinnerbait. So I do like it best in colder water versus spinnerbait. But still, fish in muddy water, I like a chatterbait pretty much all year. I fish it in the spring during the spawn, fine fish. I fish them in the summertime, again, fall. I mean, it's for me, it's it's a great bait all year long. No problem, Rock. Colton Owens, appreciate the buck, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. What's your favorite way to organize and protect your terminal tackle? And do you ever have problems with rust in the box and waterproof boxes? Uh, let's see here. Jordan, I've been using the Bath, Ma Bath Mafia boxes for a while, and I still have a lot of my terminal tackle in those. And uh, I switched over to the Battle Box, which, babe, if you can go ahead and link that video down below, that would be awesome. But uh, with the Battle Box, I don't see really any way you can get water within your hooks. And I have mine organized probably, um, that's kind of a one-off, I would say. I don't think anyone else has organized that box the way I did it. I put a lot of thought in the way I did that. But with that box, I've never had any water in it. I've only been using it for the last couple months. But with that box, no water. The Mafia Boxes, I've never got water in. Now, the, um, the Plano waterproof boxes, I would not recommend putting terminal tackle in those boxes because if you open the lid, there's dividers in the lid that meet the divider in the bottom of the box, and there's a gap there. It does not seal tight from divider to divider. So if you turn that box on the side, all your terminal tackles are going to be mixed up. So I would not recommend the waterproof boxes for your terminal tackle. You know, the Mafia box has been great. Again, I'm loving the Battle Box. So that's a couple choices for you guys. Okay, thanks. With the 50 and colder on the ponds, what type of lures are best? 50 and colder, um, I'd probably go net head, uh, jig, shaky head, something like that would probably work. I mean, if you think they're active, if you got somewhat clear water and they're active, you could probably still get them with a spinner bait. I'd even try a buzz bait, you know, even at 50 degrees, they may still even hit top water. But most of the time, I would stay on the bottom with a shaky head, jig, net head, even a Texas rig, something like that. Where can we go here in Illinois to test drive boats? Seems like all down south. Uh, to be totally honest, I really have no idea. I don't know, buddy. That is a good question. TJ, what generation GoPros are you using to film? Any favorite models? Any issues with certain models? Uh, to be honest, I've only used the GoPro 5s. And um, as of right now, I don't see any reason to switch to them. I mean, they have great features on them. They're very user-friendly. And I have three of those. That's all I film with. So i got three GoPro 5s. Ismail, all right, buddy. Appreciate it. Do you think the Mafia boxes are worth the money? I mean, that's debatable. I've never paid full price for them. I've always got them during like a 20% sale at Tackle Warehouse. But, um, I mean, full price are kind of steep. I guess you get what you pay for. It's a solid box. A lot of guys say that they've got water in them. I've never have. Um, again, you know, a lot of guys brag about how they're indestructible. But, I mean, it's not like I'm going to drive my truck over the boxes. So, I mean, it really depends what you're looking for, if it's worth it to you. But it's definitely a solid box for sure. I think I, I I think I wish the latches. This doesn't seem like sometimes they're as snug as like if you want to compare them to like the waterproof boxes. So they could have a little bit tighter latch system, I think. But other than that, I mean it's a solid box. I mean, 
like I said, if guys can run over them, obviously if you drop the box, most likely it's not going to crack and all your terminal tackle is going to spill out. So solid box. I'm not sure I would pay full price. Again, I, I try and get everything on sale if I can. And uh, so if you shop around, it's a good deal. One box, I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring them out here. A couple boxes I'm pretty excited about, which I'm going to make one of these my shaky head box. And probably one of them is going to be um, my swim head box. These are from um, Groove Fishing. You guys seen these? These are pretty slick. They got these here for like, you can use hooks, jig heads, things like that. They also got a couple here. These are for like uh, hard baits, the hard bait box. So I'll be doing some videos with these here really soon. I was kind of waiting until fishing kind of slowed down so I can really put some thought into these here. You guys can see there how that works. Just put your bait between those deals there. Hold your baits in place. The hooks go down below. Nothing gets tangled up. So I'm kind of excited to play around with those. And we'll do some videos on those. What's the best thing to use with the chatter? As far as trailers go, you guys know plasma tail is one of my go-tos. 4.5 plasma tail, like straight tail worm. I mean, the chatterbait just gives it a ton of action. It's back there dancing. I love that one. I love striking blade minnow, Yamamoto Zacco, a fluke. If you guys notice, all the trailers that I'm naming don't have any action. I let the blade give the action to the bait. You know, when you start using boot tails and things like that, a slower action with that tighter, faster action, sometimes they don't mix together. And it just throws everything off. So I usually pick a trailer that has zero action. And I let the blade give the action to the bait. What should I do? My water is green. Green, 62 degrees. And all that are there are bluegill. So feeding on bluegill, green, 62 degrees. Is that like the daily color? Or do you got an algae balloon? What's going on with that? Appreciate it, Bill. Did you get did you get your KV speed bags to try out your soft plastic thing next season? Yeah, I got I got a dozen of them. But the majority ones I got, I got the bigger size. There's two sizes. I got the big size. I watched a few videos on those. I think they say like the bigger size could hold like 40 bags. But if you're throwing like Raid's tails or the biospawn stuff that are in the clamshells, guys are barely putting like 16 bags in there. So I got all the bigger bags just because I figured the smaller ones wouldn't hold much at all. I think I got two small ones for like drop shot and Ned Rig stuff and everything else for the big ones. But no, they're still in the, in the box that I bought them from. They're still in Tackle Warehouse box. But this winter, I'm going to kind of organize with those and kind of see how it works out. Michael, you are awesome. Thank you for your help. Your channel is one of my favorite because you talk very artistically. And down to earth, also a plus that you fish muddy water as well as I do. No problem, buddy. I do appreciate the comment, Michael. I always appreciate you guys tuning in. Battle Box is the best box I ever owned. Thanks for the video. No problem, buddy. Battle Box, I want to say, is around... Um, oh, wait, you said Groove Boxes? Um, where are these things? I want to say... I want to say they're 30-something bucks, something like that. 35 bucks. Could be wrong. 28 bucks. I don't remember. I'm trying to think. They're on Carl's. I'm trying to think if I'm looking at the the discount price or I'm looking at the regular price. Anywhere from like upper 20s to mid 30s, I believe, for these boxes. Yeah, I think the um, Carl's has the, the big jig box. And they also have the... These things are pretty cool. You can put these in the lids of your boat. I guess they uh, you can put them up there with like double stick tape or Velcro. Probably great for a kayak. Here's one of the smaller deals here. It's called like a little yeah, launch pad. So you can just double stick that to your console or to your kayak to hold your bait, your jig heads, things like that. So they got some pretty cool things there. They even have um, these little boxes here if you're into like ice fishing and things like that. Little bitty boxes here for your little ice jigs and things like that. I'm going to try and use this for my little crappie jigs. But um, you got some pretty cool stuff over there. I wish you're fishing to, I wish if you're fishing tomorrow, what baits are tied on your rods? Water temps probably if I'm going to the lakes, 
Water Pimp's definitely in the 40s for sure if I'm picking the big boat out. Um, well, nothing because I wouldn't be fishing there. If I'm going to the ponds, water's probably, yeah, probably about the same there. I'd probably take a uh, jig. Probably jig and a shaky head would be my go to. Jig and shaky head. Yeah, water temp's got to be in the 40s. For sure. Can't seem to make a lightweight pond tackle. Lightweight pond tackle kit. I end up bringing the kitchen sink with me. What is a mix of plastic hard baits to keep the weight down but still have a variety of baits to use? Jordan, I tell you, babe, if you can find the video, it might even be called... Um, how to pack a, a pond bag or what's in my pond bag. That'll give you an idea, buddy, of kind of what I bring. But um, I tell you what, I don't like to retie a lot. You know, when I'm on my boat, that's why I bring a bunch of rods. So everything's tied on and I don't have to keep retying. When I go to the ponds, I'm only bringing a few rods. And, I, you know, I'd rather just keep fishing instead of keep retying. So half the time I bring a bunch of stuff and I never caught off what I originally had tied on when I first got there. So, I mean... Take that how you will, but yeah, you can check out that video and you kind of see what I have packed. Uh, let's see here. Late to the party again. What's up, bud? What's going on, Northern, Northern Master? What's up, dude? What type of foul weather gear do you use, like your rain suit and shoes? Uh, let's see here for... I guess it's an overall rain suit, but not for like warmth. I use the Gill Pilot Suit. And for warmth, I use the 100 mile per hour, you know, Bass Pro Gore Tex gear. Usually, like it's an Under Armour, you know, long johns and like a long turtleneck, you know, and then I'll wear a hood. And like I said, I'll wear the bibs and the jackets, pretty much all I wear in the wintertime. See, Tim, other channels like Guggen seem like cartoons compared to you. You demand, keep the great info coming. I appreciate that, Tim. And there we go. What's in my pond bag? There's that video. Heavy arms. Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. You rock, dude. We'll go over the giveaway one more time. 10,000 fish blade bait. We got some swim baits. We have three chatter baits here from Advantage, black and blue, white and green pumpkin. We got a couple football jigs from Moxon Lures. Definitely check them guys out. High quality jigs right here. We got a couple jerk baits. And we got a scale here from PC Fun. About $100 value. If you guys donate, you're entered in the giveaway. Have you seen the new Plano internal tackle box? Wonder how it compares with these other terminal boxes. I've seen them in videos, haven't seen them in person, but they do look pretty solid. I do like the ones, I believe they're yellow. And of course, they're all like clear, but it's a hard plastic. I believe they had like a big spinnerbait box and things like that. So I am kind of pumped to check those out. Not much experience with blade bait. When do you start throwing them and what equipment? That'd be more of a vertical type bait. So if you're on some deeper fish, kind of like um, the Demiki rig, something like that. So vertical fishing, you can throw a blade bait, just hop it off the bottom. And really, I mean, the, the pound test that you use could determine the fall rate. Obviously, a lighter diameter line is going to fall much faster than, let's say, a 20-pound test. So typically, you can get away with lighter line, but also depends around the cover that they're on as well. So if you are jigging a brush pile 20 foot, you may want to use light line to get down there faster and more realistic. But if they get you in the brush, you might snap off a 10-pound test. So you got to find a happy medium there, but you know, more vertical fishing, uh, colder water is best. Probably who has a good video on that would be, check out Bass Geek. He's, I'm sure he's got a good video of fishing blade baits. Yep, that is a really good scale. For sure. You guys see me use that in quite a few videos. No problem, James. Appreciate you tuning in, buddy. Haven't heard of moccasin lures. I'm a sucker for jigs. I'll have to check them out. Yeah, man, all the jigs got mustad hooks and um, solid jigs. Got rattles. I mean, nice paint jobs, colors. Definitely check them out. They got swim jigs, um, football jigs, slipping jigs, pitching jigs. I mean, nice variety. Good dudes. I definitely check them out. Yep, still using hula poppers. Good old school bait. Yep, tactical bass, and they probably got a good blade bait, blade bait video as well. And guys, we got 100 thumbs up. We still got 75 people on there after an hour and a half. 
That is awesome. If you have not smashed the thumbs up yet, definitely do so. And I would appreciate it, guys. If you guys could check out um, OCJDeals.com. You know, they support me. If you guys can support them, that's awesome. If you guys are local, hit them up for an oil change, test drive. If you need a new truck, whatever, head over there, hit them up. But at least, guys, click that link down below. Check out the website. That would be awesome. Before you go, just hit them up. Check it out. Thanks for answering my question, TJ. Have a great night. Time to finish up some HW. HW, what's that? Should I know what that is? Anyways, dude, appreciate you tuning in, man. We will see you next week. Awesome SNL. Have a good night and good week. I will talk to you soon. All right, buddy. Good night to you. Good night, guys. No problem, John. I'm out. Got to build some decals. Hey, guys, an hour and a half. I think we're going to sign off here. Got some home oh, homework. I got you. Okay, dude. Now get that homework done. Great chat, TJ. Have a good week. You too, man. Hey, guys, we are going to get out of here. Remember, guys, if you did donate, make sure you look back when the video is processed. And you'll see who the winner is. Reply to me. And I'll get your info and ship it out. The giveaway, Octavius, it's it's uh, it's going on now during the stream. The stream is about to process as soon as I sign off here. And then give it 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll pick a winner. And look back in the comments once the video is processed. And you'll see if you won. So, guys, keep a lookout for a video on Tuesday and Thursday. Check out um, Backyard Bassin. He should be live tomorrow, I believe. 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. And we will see you guys on the next one. Again, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. See you guys next week.